So having a telescope like this one that's coming round now is like having a time machine. We can see into the past. And the farthest we can see, we can see light that set off just after the Big Bang. And that light's been travelling for 14 billion years before it reaches this telescope and before it reaches us, it's passing through us now. That light set off about 380,000 years after the Big Bang and it floods the universe and if we look around it, everywhere around us we see it coming from every direction. The Big Bang happened everywhere. It happened as much in this field as it happened on the moon as it happened on the far side of the galaxy. And we studied the Big Bang, we used a spacecraft, we built bits of a spacecraft. It's called Planck, it's named after a physicist, not a lump of wood. And we sent it into space, and we sent it to a point four times farther away than the moon. And that's where it's sitting now. And it's mapping out this fading glow of the Big Bang. And what we look for were these tiny ripples in that light. And those tiny ripples, we're seeing the universe as it was almost 14 billion years ago. Those ripples are the things that became the stars and the galaxies and that made the universe and that made us.